check for advanced restart button it's available you need to use that to boot into recovery if you don't have that you can use the traditional method to boot into recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button simultaneously and i don't have interest to move from this cherish OS. it's that good i made a video on that yesterday you can check out here i'll give the cards and check out in channel also it's very good rom and here we go it's booted into twrp recovery go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalu catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card wherever you download the rom zip files before that flash the firmware always so we're at 12.5.5.0 flash it done again go to home section here and select install and select the rom zip files arrow os 12.1 surya official as you can see 16 april build i'll get a little bit closure as you can see saturday april 16 build with april security patch let's see what all the features available everything will be explained in detail straight until the end of the video and uh, it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section here and again select wipe and select your format data and type here yes and press this tick button once that has been done again go to home section here and select reboot and select the system this is a flashing method of arrow os latest version on this poco x3 nfc surya karna whatever you call follow the same methods and use the same twrp and use the same firmware and use the same rom zip file then you will never get any problem while flashing this rom as you see here it's booted into arrow os and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is a poco xc custom rom reviews and here arrow is version 12.1 latest build is and it's recognized as karna don't worry this my device is indian variant and uh, it is surya and the kernel user is 4.14.267 arrow kernel has been used with 3rd april sorry 3rd saturday april 16 that is and the build date is also april 16 you can see here and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can see here the maximum is 151 and average is 139 and is the minimum is 19 and, and there is a throttling going on which is 85 percent of its maximum performance not bad but definitely many people are using this rom many people like this build the updates whatever new build comes many people show a lot more interest in my channel do comment down below why what you are liking in this arrow is such that other people will have a look on that and experience the same and coming to camera application you get google go camera experiential for basic things video and everything it's going to be working fine if you want something advanced then you can use any other gcam ports i keep on telling that the arno build gcam is working fine with ultra wide angle also that's how it is and coming to safety net status in this particular room it will get passed and some people asking me about this rom compared to the previous like cherish OS. no there is no comparison regarding the overall performance the overall performance is better in cherish OS, not just the gaming even in day-to-day -day performance also cherish OS is no doubt that's great enough but how is this arrow is compared to that yes it's not that great but for daily users it's good and the battery life is going to be very much better in this particular rom that is a balanced rom and here this is a power efficiency based rom that you need to keep in mind and coming to speed test here i have 100 mbps planned geo giga fiber connection and it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps which is not bad it's good enough and even with mobile data connection also it's working fine no problem regarding that i'll increase a little bit of volume that's how it is and there is a carrier aggregation support also and let's see the dialer here in this particular rom you will get direct video call feature in this particular room and there is a car recording option also but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is and safety and status it's get passed as i said you can use all the payment application like google pay whatsapp and swiping between apps and 
scrolling between apps and this is a quick settings panel you get advanced start button not available it's simple rom no customization lot more customization you can accept any any other roms not this one as you can see this is also smooth enough but not as smooth as cherish os or ancient os or some other roms this will come in second category but the battery life is going to be very good in this rom as you can see the battery usage as you can see it was around 80 percent and now it is 22 percent and 8 percent you get one hour of 10 minutes of usage that's really good screen time of 55 minutes that's the good thing in this arrow is you can make it out if you keep the brightness lower and even if you reduce the refresh rate even with 120 hz also this will give you very good battery life in my opinion compared to any other roms that's the good thing regarding this rom i experienced it myself from long time in this arrow is that's how i am speaking about that and into system into gestures here also nothing change as you can see no options to increase the gesture bar length and height it's nothing but the same pixel experience just a little bit tweaking here and there and in the sound settings you get direct sound settings you can enable the headphone type and preset that's how it is and some of the settings you can enable or disable from here that's how this arrow is latest build and in screen recording options people ask about this device and microphone you can simultaneously record that too and even security options you get fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock here and i'm encryption credentials it get encrypted regarding google photos yes you will get unlimited google photo storage that's present that's a good thing and coming to drm info here you get level one certification as you can see you can watch all the audit applications in hd resolution no problem regarding that also and display quality i mean the brightness is also working fine auto brightness is also working fine and let me show the charging animation fingerprint unlock before going into bgmi as you can see it will show charging rapidly after a few time as you can see charging rapidly that's working fine and regarding this one fingerprint unlock it's also fast enough as you can see just tap it and get unlocked that's how it is i will uninstall this antidote benchmark application it simply take on my smartphone and that's how it is and let's see the bgma gameplay what all the graphics are in obviously you get only smooth plus ultra let's see how it handles the game and this is how the bgma and many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel guys have a subscribe to my channel you get smooth plus ultra here nothing fancy and also allow that bell notification by pressing the bell icon down below and also like if you like the video give it a like guys let's see in the boot camp how it handle the game the bgmi with arrow s the loudness is also fine enough and you will get this kind of audio settings here volume panel and everything and many people ask about to make review on i mean the this gameplay add some more other games also but i already made a poll on that many people chosen this one to be shown in video the bgmi if the interest was more on some other app i mean the game then i would have definitely involved it but that's how it is majority of the people in my channel are okay with this bgmi as you can see it's rainfall happened here let's take these two small houses and have a For gaming purpose this is like okay for just like pushing to rank or anything like that that's fine but if you want to show off and if you want to get more what do you call that FD ratio then you need to use gaming ROMs this is fine to just push a rank and have here and there TDMs then it's fine I don't recommend for TDMs also it should have high FPS 
that's how it should be someone around me maybe it's the bot or that's how it is it was a bit laggy and with the same graphic settings as you can see kept a smooth plus ultra only no high fps unlock will be seen in this rom and you can see there is a lot more frame drops has been happened here if you can notice or not that's how it is this is not for gaming definitely day to day use is also not smooth enough but you can make it out if you want a very good battle left then only you can look out this rom at beginning this was very good but with under 12 this is not that great these days as you can see and i will come back that's all guys in this video i hope explained everything regarding this arrow as latest version as you can see these things are fine and uh, you won't get dark theme as a pitch black condition that's the one thing you need to keep in mind that's how it is and thank you for watching guys we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now